Hi everyone, it's Frank Walters here and today I've got some Winsor & Newton Artisan Water Mixable Oil Colours. Don't often work in oil, I, I prefer watercolour, that's my choice, but again, I've got this really nice reference of a, of a couple of rocks here in Portugal and I'm capturing it very quick. I'm, I'm, I'm drawing with a brush, that's what I'm doing. I'm just painting, I'm mixing up some... Uh, some uh, burnt sienna with a little bit of French ultramarine, mixing that up, getting all the shapes, putting in the darks. Uh, remember, uh, art is all about value, about lights and darks. Remember that uh, color gets all the credit, but it's value that does all the work. And uh, starting with the sky, I like to start at the top and work downwards. Uh, just using a mixture of cerulean and white, uh, trying to get a bit of a graded look, but I'm treating it very differently to the way I would treat watercolour. Um, now mixing up some of those uh, the dark green for that background. I want that fairly dark. I want that horizon dark as it is in the reference. I think that's quite important. Now mixing up some greens, um, using some yellow, a little bit of that French ultramarine, uh, adding a little bit of white as well, um, and again, just dropping in the greens. There's, there's a method to this madness, and it just seems to work for me when I'm doing oils, uh, which isn't that often, but I like I like painting oils now and again. I, I, I like the thick stuff. Uh, this is the bit I really like about oils. It's when you start getting those big, fat, juicy, light colours in there, and it really starts to sing especially against the darks, and uh, this is beautiful, beautiful light, keeping it light, pushing it around, pushing the oil around, um, which is good. So now we've got quite a nice composition. Remember, composition is really important. It's got to be pleasing to the eye, and you've got to walk into the painting. There's that pinch point between the two rocks. That, that takes you on that little journey between those rocks and onwards. There's a little sign there, which I'm sort of leaving at the moment in the negative. Remember, I don't have to leave anything in the negative in oil. It's not like watercolor at all, is it, really? Um, again, pushing colors around. I speeded this up because I just wanted to give you an impression rather than the detail. Um, but again, it shows you what you can do as long as you just keep things really, really simple. Um, looking at the darks, I'm, I'm doing what I normally do in watercolour when I do shadows, and that is mixing French ultramarine with alizarin crimson, and uh, and that's exactly what I'm doing. It's super dark. Uh, I'm laying it on. Um, uh, I'm doing this painting a la prima. It's all in one go. It's not taking very long. I know I've speeded it up, but the whole exercise took about 25, 30 minutes, and I think that's the way you paint oil when you're out there uh, painting plein air um, when you're on holiday or wherever you're doing doing the the tree branch now in a dark brown I'm putting in some uh, leaves and stuff I actually didn't like what I've done there and I knew it at the time when I was painting it great thing about oil you can go back and you can change stuff it's brilliant uh, you can't do that with watercolor can you um, so I did change that and you'll see the finished thing in a minute um, and just about there, just putting in a few little accents, finishing off that little sign post thing, um, just dropping in, try not to overwork it, really don't want to do that, want to keep it nice and loose and very impressionistic looking. Um, I also added a little bit of blue into the uh, rocks at the end, which unfortunately I didn't, I thought about that later, but it seems to work, uh, a little bit of Van Gogh there in the end. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Come and join me on my watercolour workshops every Wednesday on Zoom.